a camcorder that records straights DVD. I'll test it out coming up. Over the years, I've acquired a number of video cameras as part of my audio video hobby. This includes some that record on SD cards, hard drives, mini DV, digital 8, SVHSC, and full sized VHS. I currently shoot on a Panasonic HCX1000 that is capable of 4K as I plan to migrate to 4K on YouTube pretty soon. Absent from my collection are Betamax, Video 8, and Hi8. If any of my viewers want to donate a camera with one of these formats to Thrifty AV for me to review, let me know in the comments so we can arrange for shipping. The first video camera I will be featuring in the vintage video series is the Sony DCR DVD 300 NTSC. This camcorder was generously donated by a close family member for me to review. It came out in 2003 and records directly onto small DVDs. Before checking out footage, let's dig into the settings and the menu for this camcorder. The power switch is located next to the battery. That's off. That's on. There's a three position toggle knob that lets you play back recorded footage. This is for video recording and this is for still photography. It has a full color eyepiece viewfinder as well as an LCD. Controls for playback of recorded footage is here. If I clip visual index it lists off play footage or it can also show still pictures that have been recorded. This camcorder has a cold shoe for mounting lights or other gear. It has Sony night shot uh, with super night shot which I believe slows down the shutter. If you're in a backlit area you can push this button and I think it would probably boost the gain. Not sure what fader or review do. Might say so in the manual. Here is a USB port. I'm going to try pulling the footage off of the camera using the USB port instead of importing the DVDs. Going through the setup menu has LCD brightness and LCD color. I currently am using SP mode but I can go LP or HQ as well. When I'm finished recording my footage, I need to finalize. I can title a disc. I can set the clock. I can set it to automatically shut off after a certain duration. I can increase the letter size so that it's easier to read. Change the date code. Show remaining time. When I'm in camera mode, the menu changes a little bit. I have uh, it's kind of programmable thing. Picture effect, sepia, black and white, pastel, and mosaic. Some digital effects, make something look like an old movie. White balance is set to auto, but you can do indoor and outdoor. I don't know if you can set a manual white balance. You can freeze the white balance you have. Auto shutter on and off, and you can return to the previous menu. I've been having an on again, off again problem with the CCD displaying black. The lens cover is off, so that's not the issue. Last time I had this problem, it fixed itself when I loaded a new DVD. So I'm going to try installing a fresh DVD and see if that helps with this problem. Okay, the disc door is shut all the way. Disc access. 
Sony disc recommended. That's because I'm trying to use a Memorex disc, but it should still work. But I still have a black CCD. I can try uh, flipping on and off the night shot. So I don't think it's a night shot circuitry. I could try running it off of battery power instead of off of the wall wart. And I still have a blank display. I was going to do some test footage with the various filters, but if this thing's just going to display black, those filters aren't going to show anything. Let's watch some outdoor footage I shot with this Handycam while the CCD was working. When I hook the camcorder up to my Windows 10 computer, I'm getting the message USB mode. However, no footage seems to be detected when I have it hooked up via USB. So maybe I need to finalize the disc first. Okay, so I'm unplugging. I see disc access. And I'm going to click finalize. Execute. Yes. Avoid any vibrations. So I'm going to set this down slowly while I finalize. That took just over six minutes to finalize. And it appears to be building a menu at this point. And it's still going. Total time to finalize the disk was 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see if the USB mode will work now. It says USB mode. So this answers my question. The disk has to be finalized before importing the video via USB. It would probably be faster to load this up via my DVD drive rather than the USB hooked up to this camcorder, but I'm just seeing if this works. I've loaded up the footage from the DVD camcorder into my edit software. So let's take a look of the limited amount of footage I was able to shoot before the CCD went black. Let's open this up and load this disc into the camcorder. I'm now speaking into my Panasonic HCX1000 using the shotgun mic. I'm looking slightly down into the lens. Now I'm speaking into the Sony DVD camcorder using the internal microphone for my voice. It's set to widescreen mode. So this is how my Panasonic compares to the older Sony DVD camcorder. I've now switched to a 4x3 aspect ratio the standard before widescreen took over. I still have a 4x3 aspect ratio, but I'm now recording in LP mode that fits more footage on the disc, but may suffer from compression artifacts. The battery on this 16-year-old camcorder no longer holds a charge, so I cannot walk around as I'm tied to a power cord. This is a wide shot of my backyard with steady shot off. As I go tight, it becomes more obvious that steady shot is not on. I'm still handheld in the backyard, but now I've turned on steady shot, and it looks quite steady on a wide shot. It even does pretty good when I'm at full optical zoom with steady shot on. I purchased a new battery for this camcorder on Amazon, so I would like to get it working again. Doing a little research, it seems like the black screen is an issue with several Sony camcorder models. So I'm going to do a little research and see if this can't be fixed. Apparently a new capacitor on the CCD board might be able to fix this problem. This could be a fun topic for a future video. 
If you have a favorite old video format you would like to see featured on Thrifty AV's Vintage Video, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. It's your contributions that help offset the costs involved with running it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and if you click the bell notification, you'll get updates when I post new content. Remember, stay thrifty everyone!